Hey guys, so picking exercises for your body is gonna be the most important thing in your muscle building journey. It has to come before sets, before reps, before load, before volume matter at all. If I'm doing exercises that don't fit my structure, I'm wasting my time, not building max and muscle, and likely hurting myself, causing massive amounts of inflammation and joint pain without getting the muscular building response I'm after. So most of us attach to, oh man, I've got bad genetics, or I don't have the ability to build muscle. And from my experience, you're wrong. We all have an ability to build muscle. Do we all have a differing ability to build muscle? Of course, some of you guys build muscle really easily, some of us struggle. But the first and most important thing that all of us must be doing is picking exercises that fit our body. So just because you watch me do an exercise does not mean you should be doing it. You're built very differently than me. We've all got very different size rib cage. We've all got different width clavicle. We've all got different length arms. We've all got different length legs. We all have different shaped pelvis. So that therefore, an exercise that fits me is not necessarily gonna fit you. So what I wanna do is I wanna teach you guys a thought process. <clears throat> Realize, all muscles do is move bones. All, is mu all muscles do is shorten. One end is stabilized and the other end pulls closer to that other end. That's literally it. So if you wanna learn how to pick exercises for your body, you gotta find both ends of a muscle. Once you've found both ends of that muscle, you just need to observe. You need to objectively go, okay, well, this is one end of the muscle. This is the other end of the muscle. How do I take those two points closer together? And now if I draw a line between those two points and I extend it, that's where the resistance needs to be. So if I'm trying to train my pec, I know my pec, if I follow my pec line up and I follow this insert and I find this insertion point, well, that's the common insertion point of the pec. And it's got all of these origin points along the sternum. So if I want to train my upper pec, it's as simple as I need to bring this insertion point to this origin. If I want to train my lower pec, I need to bring this insertion point to this origin. And then how do I add resistance to that? So instead of going, hey, watching this guy do a bench press or watching this guy do a decline or incline, forget that. Look at your body because we're built differently. You need to go, okay, if I'm trying to challenge this exact thing, how do I do that? So if I'm trying to challenge my upper pec, well, I need to look at my body and realize that all that upper pec does, all these fibers do is they pull directly in this line. So I'm trying to pull this point across. If I'm trying to work my lower pec or my outer pec. All I'm doing is trying to pull this point in a straight line to there. So it's really important you guys start observing and stop uh, watching what everyone else is doing. It's so important to just look, to so start observing. What is this muscle actually meant to do? How can I stabilize one end of it so it's actually anchored in stone and just let the other end move? So if I'm doing a bicep curl and this end is also moving, this end can't generate maximum tension. It's like the, having two ends of rope that are moving. So I need to anchor this one in stone using my lat. Maybe it's my mid trap to stabilize that scapula down. And then I'm squeezing as hard as I can. Try that right now. You guys are gonna notice a tremendous increase in the ability to contract all of your muscles stabilize one end and then pull the other end closer to it. You're gonna notice a massive increase. And if you, if you find that you can't stabilize it, guess what? Your ability to build muscle is gonna be massively hindered by your inability to stabilize. 